Hey, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video. So me and Chris have decided to venture out to Bishop Harbor. It's been a good minute since I've been over here and typically when we do come over here, it's in the boat. So today we're gonna slow down, explore some things. We got some down south lures, some spoons, and also some live greenbacks. I also brought my big gulp cast net, a six foot net. So if I find some mullet or some pilchards, we may net those up and use them as live bait as well. It should be a good time. We got a high tide at four o'clock. Uh, the wind has been howling lately. So we're trying to, uh, you know, combat that wind a little bit, but it has laid down a little bit today. So let's go out and explore, find some areas and see if we can have a good time. Stay tuned. All right, got off, guys. Had a little snow calm. I might find another one. Oop, he missed it. He missed it. Nothing on that one. It's tides are going out now, so snooker a little bit more active. Oh, this has got some weight to it. Whoa, what did we hook into? It's got to be a good snook or something. On the down south, guys. I mean, he just lit this up. Oh, going on a sleigh ride. Good fish. It's a jack. Good jack. Actually, a really nice flat jack here. Yeah. Broke the ice. Haven't really been getting much. But I'll take that. Check that out, guys. Beautiful fish. There he goes. Man, he drilled that thing. I was hoping it was a big old snook. But it wasn't. Oh well. Kind of fought. Like a snook. Kind of. He was sitting right on the edge too of the, the water change. All right guys, I'm hooked up. Oh, oh, on the shrimp. 
I don't know what I got here. He's taking me for a little run. Holy moly. Got a little bit of weight to him. Might be another jackaroo though. Let's get up here so we can see what's going on. Dang. Tighten it down a little bit more. It's pretty tight though. It's a shark. I caught a shark. Dun dun. Oh. They're fun on light tackle. I don't know, I was thinking it was a jack. He does not want to come up though. That's Jaws if I ain't ever seen it. And he is not happy. I'm gonna be the star of Chris's video. Yay. Yay. Here, unbutton that for me. Woo! Look at that pretty little boy right there. You want to get a, a picture? Mom, let's get a picture of me holding it up. If I can get him in here. Ah, ooh, ah, e. Ooh, ah. Man, this little rascal is mean, man. Ow, e, ow, ooh. This little rascal is mean. Better calm down there. Oh, oh, that water's so cold. So cold. I can't have him splash my camera either over there. Dude, that's cool. All right, you ready? Can you get the kayak in there? Here he goes, guys. Beautiful. Always respect them, though, because they will bite you, and they will bite you good. Thanks for your assistance, Christopher. Hey, I caught two fish. Chris caught none. Dude, we need to use up these big shrimp. Like we got all these shrimp. You know, I guess we could take them over to your house tonight, man, and do a part. Just hanging out. This is hooked up with a trout. First fish of the day for him. That looked like a good one, Chris. Let's see him. Big old boy, huh? <laughs> Chris over there struggling. He got he got him a nice on that Miradine? Chris throwing that Miradine. Yeah. See, you could be doing a catch it cook. Yeah. You got your phone, I'll take some pictures. work all right guys we're gonna let him go let him get it even bigger oh <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> you dude say, you could say sorry to jimmy the trout dang it man oh man now you're gonna have the corneal virus or the coronavirus good you got splashed 
Oh my gosh, no! This place is known for good trout, yeah. though. Caught it. Caught that uh, trout. Deer die. Mini. Alright guys, hooked up. This feels like Chris's fish. You know what that means. Oh! So what I'm doing guys is free lining the flat. Uh, the tide's got us going out, but the wind is overpowering us just a little bit. Yeah, this is not the fish we want. This is Chris's fish. Chris, got your fish. Come here, Chris. You've been missing him. Man, I thought I was gonna get away with not catching one of these today. <laughs> Gotta respect the kitty fish. They will mess you up. Sit still. Holy moly, something just came out right next to the boat. Got him, got him. <laughs> Baby poon. Not really. But something pull on the line. Whoa. Calm down our little fella. So guys, ladyfish make for a great bait. But since we're not cut bait, we're gonna let her own go. Had a fish and it got all. You guys i'm just i'm out here lazy man fishing today it's free lining with a 20 pound leader got my light little st croix premier one out hook and uh it's a one out um owner hook i believe it was what it is and i'm just free lining these grass and drop off areas not doing anything special Had a trout on and he got off. There goes a duck right there. Quack, quack. Chris got him a big old trout. I need a nice trout too. Come on now. I know you guys have been wanting some catching cooks. Unfortunately, everything's closed in our area for another year. So catching cooks, I could do some macro, some snapper, grouper, but redfish, snook, trout, those are all closed for another year. Which I'm okay with that. There's a lot of people not okay with that, but I'll tell you, 
Fishing in the Tampa Bay eight, eight, ten years ago was a lot better than it is today. And it's not just due to overfishing. It's the FWC spraying pesticides. It's the county allowing billions of gallons of sewage to go into the bay and not, not being held accountable. Uh, you know, the destruction of our natural habitats, which is grass, oyster beds. I mean, of course, that's creating red tide and ultimately diminishing our fishery, but also creating uh, toxic water that people get sick when they swim. They get uh, flesh-eating bacteria, lose limbs. I mean, it's more than just people dumping stuff and, it, it, you know, this affects our whole tourism industry. It really impacts us in a, on a larger level than just fishing. And it's really a shame that we can't get FWC to stop spraying all of these uh, herbicides and nasty chemicals all over the lakes and things that are running off into the oceans. What'd you get? Just got him on something over there. Hear him over there. Well, that's enough for my rant on that topic. It just, I don't know. One good thing that we started doing here is a portion of our proceeds for all of our shirt sales, uh, as of right now, are going to be going to um, Tampa Bay Watch. And Tampa Bay Watch, if you're not familiar, is a uh, organization that helps with habitat restoration oh he got me habitat restoration um like for example we volunteered march 20th with tampa bay watch as well and we'll be going out to make deal with them or near make deal to plant a bunch of oysters and oysters are important guys because or oyster beds because they filter the water they help naturally clean the water and uh, we're happy to be a part of that. We're happy to be volunteering our time, but also our resources so that they can better uh, take care of our coastline. So you guys be sure to follow them or check them out on all the social media. I believe they have a YouTube. They definitely have an Instagram and a Facebook. I'll leave the link down in the description. I just pitted you. Still winning. Yeah. Only a little bit of both. Uh oh, mosquitoes. They ain't messing around either. What color? This. <laughs> That's a good... like an orca whale. That's what I think of every time. I should have called it the, the orca whale. Hey guys, so today did not go as planned. I don't even know if I'm going to publish this video. It's a, it was slower. It wasn't very instru instructional. But I may post it. I don't know. I'll have to review it. We caught a few fish. Did not catch the targeted species of the snook and the redfish. But overall, we had a good time. It's more just a relaxed day. Just come out, kind of drift a little bit, look around, uh, sight fish. Got the old town out. Chris got his uh, enjoy kayak. He's been enjoying it all day. So, all right, guys. Uh, if you do see the video, if you don't mind, please like, subscribe, and comment below if you haven't already. And uh, until next time, we'll see you on the water.